doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support i really appreciate you much god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you won't regret subscribing to this channel <laughs> so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be talking about goodies <laughs> yes guys today's video is a requested video from one of my subscribers she asked me bella i've been chatting with a guy on online dating apps for quite some time now we are girlfriend and boyfriend and this guy sends me money sometimes so i would like to know if it is okay to talk about sex with him or do online text with him provided that he is sending me money but not only that subscriber there is another lady a friend of mine that i have been helping on online dating apps and due to the challenges she has been facing on online dating apps one day she was like bella i don't know if the ladies that share their love stories the success one on online dating apps tell the truth because what i'm going through right now i don't know every guy that chats with me is all talking about sex <laughs> So I don't know, is this normal? Is this how they do it? Is this how they get those white guys to marry them? I was like, no, it's not normal, but I'm going to do a video about that. So guys, that is why I am here. And uh, today's video, the title goes as when to and when not to talk about sex the goodies <laughs> with a guy you have met on online dating apps and if you're going to talk about it how should you do that <laughs> so without wasting much of your time guys let us start our video right now dear friends number one to start with do you know that those guys that comes to talk to you about you giving them your goodies or talk about all the time it all starts in their profiles if you didn't know here is the truth if you go through their profiles on online dating apps you go through the description what they have wrote in the description then you go through what he is looking for in a woman you will get a lot of red flags you will get a lot of answers that this guy if you paid attention to his profile his description what he is looking for then you could have saved your time yes guys <laughs> and i did a research i'm going to be putting examples so that you can read the profiles and what these guys are looking for what they wrote if you read through you will know that if you chat with this guy he is going to definitely talk about sex he is going to definitely ask for your goodies <laughs> for example i guess you are going through men's profile because you are searching i told you don't wait to be found if you're not receiving messages go ahead and make that first approach but you making the first approach if a guy comes and talks to you everything goes well it doesn't mean you should keep on trying being the one to push this relationship no if a guy is interested let him be the guy let him be the man meaning that he should show that he is really interested in you he will put lots of efforts to get to know you yeah so you're going through men's profile and then you come across profiles like this i'm going to be giving you example some of the words that they use or some of the tricks that these guys use so you will find a guy telling you that i am sexually open-minded most of you have been coming to my dm telling me bella i'm chatting with a guy but he is saying that he is open-minded what does that mean <laughs> guys i told you if a guy is telling you that he is open-minded or some others will tell you i am sexually open-minded what does that mean that means that this guy is open to any kind of sex 
okay <laughs> if you remember mary's story what she went through this guy was interested in having two ladies sleep with them at the same time those are the kind of guys you will find that in their profile they have written that they are open-minded <laughs> so if he brings some prostitutes so that you can sleep together it's okay because he is open-minded some of them when you start talking to them they will tell you they want you to drink their <laughs> <laughs> they are open-minded some of them will want the back door they are open-minded so open-minded to someone who is not on online dating apps will find that word not offensive will find that word okay but if you are on online dating apps that word means a lot so if you read a guy's profile he has written that i am sexually open-minded or i am looking for an open-minded lady girl you know that there is fire better run <laughs> Or maybe if you are open-minded too, you are ready to give your back door, you are ready to sleep in three other ladies' open relationships, then go ahead and write the first message to this guy or respond to this guy if he sends you the message. But if not, run girl, run. Example number two that will tell you that this guy will end up asking you for nude photos will end up asking you for online is if you go through a guy's profile and then you find that in his description he says that he enjoys hot video calls or what he is looking for he is looking for fun and he enjoys hot video calls when you see that that's a red flag no matter how this guy is cute no matter how long you have been on online dating apps and you are tired and you think that maybe that guy might be the one please don't write that message or if he writes to you do not respond because he is going to definitely end up asking you for online he is going to end up asking you for your nude photos so don't be surprised if you respond to such kind of a guy he asks you such kind of things because he wrote it in his description so to avoid all that please do not respond please do not write him a message even a like guys <laughs> example number three you are on online dating apps you come across a profile of a guy or oh, this guy wrote you a message and then i told you if you receive a message the first thing you should do is to go first read their profiles their descriptions what they are looking for <laughs> so you receive a message from this guy you rush immediately read his description and when you go to what he is looking for it is written like this i am looking for a submissive obedient sexy african queen <laughs> <laughs> when you read that dear beautiful ladies don't waste your time don't even respond to this guy because it is going to end up in two stocks there are some words for a normal lady who is not experienced on online dating apps when she reads those words she will feel like oh maybe this guy is really interested in black ladies you know <laughs> obedient she'll be like oh we are told to be obedient to our husbands so there is no offense him writing such kind of words but what i'm telling you guys here from someone who has got enough experience on online dating apps when you see those words it is not well or oh, not well <laughs> Some white guys go on online dating apps not to search for love. No, they are looking for slaves. Women to treat as slaves. And that is why he is saying that he's looking for a lady who is obedient and submissive. Meaning, whatever he tells you, you will say, yes, my master. Because <laughs> you are supposed to be submissive and obedient to me guys those words are very very offensive to a lady when you see that you know that that guy is toxic is going to be toxic to you so you shouldn't respond to him or don't try to send him that first message example number four of a guy's profile that when you read it on online dating apps 
you shouldn't respond to him because when you respond be ready to be asked for nude photos be ready to talk about and we are all about not to do not do that <laughs> yeah so you go through a guy's profile let's take an example it is on afro introduction first of all this guy is using afro on a free version he has not paid anything that is number one <laughs> number two to know that this guy is a player and does not want to spend his money to play his games <laughs> when you go through what he is looking for you will find his phone numbers you will find his skype name or when you go to the books he likes to read you will find his phone numbers all the food he likes to eat you will find his phone numbers that guy is a player wants to play his games for free so no matter how cute he is no matter how his profile matches your profile please please do not write a message to this guy even if he sends you a message let's imagine you have paid on afro introduction do not bother or you have not paid both of you are using afro on a free version you can't read his message don't start to panic and be like the guy is so cute his age is what i'm looking for but i cannot read his message what should i do maybe i should pay <laughs> that is when some of you come and be like bella please show me how to pay on afro <laughs> so that you can chat to such kind of losers no 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 dear beautiful ladies because that kind of a guy it will end up asking you for your nude photos it will end up him asking you to do online so save your time on online dating apps and that is why guys i've told you it all starts from his profile what he wrote on his description what he wrote on what he is looking for that is number one guys number two of when not to talk about you giving your goodies to this guy or any talk <laughs> online is when you are on online dating apps and then you come across this guy's profile it's so so good it's the best you have ever come across on online dating apps his description is decent what he is looking for in a woman is decent no strange weird words not at all guys his photos are very very cute <laughs> so you send a message to this guy or this guy sends you a message and you are there very excited you start chatting with this guy thinking that maybe he might be the one then this guy asks you for your phone numbers of course you're going to exchange phone numbers because he is cute and you haven't seen any red flag in his profile leave alone the ones that i discussed in my first point no this one is good the profile is so so good so you exchange phone numbers and start chatting immediately when you start chatting with this guy this guy tells you that stand up if you're seated it's a video call he tells you stand up i want to see you turn around i want to see what your mama gave you i want to see your hate <laughs> when you start hearing that from a guy nothing serious will come out of it the next thing he's gonna ask for your nude photos the next thing he's gonna tell you to do online trust me i'm saying this out of experience the ladies that i have been helping <laughs> what they have been going through so this guy tells you stand up then you stand up turn around you turn around in his head he's like yes i can manipulate her <laughs> so after that then this guy tells you undress he is doing all that or he wants you to understand that when you do that you will keep on communicating to him you're going to create a relationship so he is using that as a ticket so for you to buy that ticket you are supposed to turn around you are supposed to do everything that he tells you if he says undress you should undress because that's the ticket to chat with him that's the ticket for you to start a relationship now let me tell you dear beautiful ladies don't be deceived by these losers 
a normal relationship does not start like that they want you to believe that it's normal but it's not normal you can't start a relationship that way because when he tells you to undress and then you undress you are going to end up doing online with him you're going to end up sending your nude photos to him and don't think that you will create that love relationship with him you will only cheapen yourself he will do whatever he wants to do with you because that is what he is looking for and in the end he is going to dump you so why cheapen yourself i've been telling you guys you should know your value no matter how you need a man in your life no matter how you want to get married no matter how you want beautiful kids with this white guy in the future please please don't buy that ticket because it will never get anywhere number three so i imagine you know guys i always imagine i give you examples because this is the real talk we talk of real things that happens on online dating apps you guys who are on online dating apps i think you understand me when i come up with these examples you can relate so you are chatting with a guy on online dating apps we imagine and it has been two days then after two days this guy tells you let us exchange phone numbers and of course you haven't seen anything weird in this guy you accept to exchange phone numbers with him then after exchanging phone numbers immediately from nowhere suddenly guys this guy sends you his eggplant some of them will send you like raw the way it is some of them will send you photos of the eggplant standing <laughs> standing like this in his trousers some of them if you go to their profiles you will find a photo of an eggplant standing in his boxers like this <laughs> so he sends you such kind of a photo and tells you please i want you to send yours you know i trust you already i want to marry you telling you beautiful words that he knows that you want to hear those words from him <laughs> so that you can be convinced and send the photo of your goodies don't do that don't 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 i repeat guys because this guy does not know you you have been chatting for two days or one day but he has got that confidence of sending you a stranger his eggplant so if you send him your goodies don't be surprised if he share your goodies to the whole world do not be surprised that is why i am telling you don't trust these guys don't accept because what they do guys they try by all means to make you feel like it is very normal it is something so normal it's not normal guys there is a lady i was telling that it's not normal exist guys that won't ask you that then she could be like no 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 no, i don't trust that bella <laughs> so far the ones that have come across always ask for that and one day came a guy started talking to her this guy was so decent he wasn't talking of such kind of things and actually he was against those guys that always talk about on online dating apps as the way of starting to know a lady she came to me back was like bella you were telling the truth i came across the guy who was different from all the guys that i came across on online dating apps so it is not normal he shouldn't make you comfortable feel like oh he sent his i should send mine no guys don't number four of when not to talk about sex the guy you met on online dating apps so you have been chatting with this guy the only thing he does is to sweet talk you and make empty promises no plans of meeting he has never discussed that and when you ask him questions about his life he's like this is private you can't know this you can't know that but again he wants you to talk about sex with him he wants you to do online sex with him so if i'm asking you things about your life concerning your life you're telling me they are private why should you have a private conversation a sensitive conversation like that with me why because <laughs> that is private that is sensitive <laughs> and guys these men 
women are very very clever so what i'm asking you is for you to be extra clever you don't want to tell me about your life you don't want to talk to me at night you don't want us to have that kind of a love relationship with me but still you want to do talks with me does that make sense it doesn't and some of these guys that is why i told you they are clever <laughs> they know we ladies including me <laughs> we love money so he is going to send you money so that you can do the talks with him so that you can do online with him so when he sends you money some of the ladies will be like oh he is the one oh he is real because if he wasn't real he wasn't going to send me money but guys you know what that's a trick that's a trap <laughs> and that is where we fail i think i told you one time that most of these guys that always interested in talking about online they are happily married but because they want to have like an affair online dating apps affair that is why they look for a lady to have an affair with so you are just a side chick he's gonna use you send you 50 euros 100 euros once he is tired of that he is going to leave you and last time if you remember i asked you if you are on online dating apps what is your goal what is your reason to be on online dating apps if you are searching for money then that's okay receive money and keep on doing these online with this guy but don't expect a relationship with this guy because doing that you only cheapen yourself even if a guy was real and he tried that you accepted as we all know no man will ever say no to a lady <laughs> if you want to show your body <laughs> he is going to look at your body enjoy and then look for a lady who respects herself another sad thing is that some ladies have been doing that don't think that these men just wake up one day and they're like i'm going to ask for a from an african lady or i'm going to ask for nude photos from an african lady no it's because exist black african women that have been sending their nude photos to these guys that have been accepting to do this online with these guys so he does this with this lady then go to another one she accepts move to another one she accepts of course if you come across another lady let's take an example it's you you are decent he is going to try to ask to see if you are like others because <laughs> they've been getting that so it is becoming very normal to them it's so so sad guys these white men have been using online dating apps as a place to fulfill their sexual desires it's very very sad but don't lose hope yet because still exist decent men men who are ready to start a relationship in a normal way so if you come across those do not accept just keep on searching number five which is the last one on when not to talk about to the guy you met on online dating apps i think i talked about this but i'm going to go a bit deeper into this so you are on online dating apps and then you receive a message from a guy all that he says is this is my whatsapp numbers if you want us to get to know each other better let's chat on whatsapp and because you are looking for a guy you take his number and then you text him you start chatting immediately this guy starts talking of you try to ask him you know those important questions of getting to know each other but this guy ignores those questions and returns to the same topic of sex tells you that sex is very important in his life that is why he is talking about it <laughs> so that means you should accept and start chatting with him about that and in the end he will end up asking you for online sex. and when he is done end of the relationship now let me tell you dear beautiful ladies 
Sex, yes, is very important in a relationship, but it's not all. It's not all, guys. You can't start a relationship by talking about that only. There is a lot more to that. You guys are from different continents. Let's imagine. You really need to know each other's culture. You really need to know a lot of things about each other so that you can create that strong relationship, that bond that eventually will lead to but you can't just start with that and you hope that that sex talk will lead you to create a very good relationship a strong relationship that will last forever no dear beautiful ladies you really need to know this and guys if you talk to all ladies that have found love on online dating apps they will tell you that yes it was hard to find the one on online dating apps but after finding the one then real challenges start. So if your relationship is only based on sex, that means this guy can get sex anywhere, you know? But if you create this relationship, starting by normal things, getting to know each other, create that strong bond, that means that even those challenges that will come after, you will be able to overcome them. Because guys, believe me, there is a lot. After finding love on online dating apps, there is a lot of challenges that follows. <laughs> Dear friends, let's move to when to. <laughs> when should you talk about sex with a guy you met on online dating apps? So guys, number one of when to talk about sex with a guy you met on online dating apps you are chatting with a guy, you are no longer on online dating apps, you are chatting on WhatsApp, your relationship has been growing stronger and stronger every day, you know a lot of things about this guy's life. Actually, let's take an example, you know 90% of this guy's life, you feel like you already know each other, he knows you too. <laughs> <laughs> have talked to your parents you have talked to his parents you are in a relationship guys girlfriend and boyfriend to add on that this guy took the next step of inviting you we imagine this guy maybe came in africa or wherever part of the world you are to visit you for the first time and this time he has invited you he sent you his documents you are waiting for the visa to be out at that stage then you can do the same talks but not in a bad way that you are going to be sending your nude photos to this guy no no more sex talks because you are not a brother and sister <laughs> you are in a love relationship and eventually you are going to meet <laughs> and you will give your goodies so to keep things spicy to make this guy feel more excited to meet you you can do those sex talks that turns him on <laughs> but please do not disrespect yourself by undressing in front of the camera by wanting to do this online because you might say bella told us to spice things up and then you are the one to go and ask for online no please don't do that though i know there are some ladies who have been doing that with their boyfriends actually there is a story coming soon <laughs> was doing online with the boyfriend by the time they were doing that they had planned already when to meet which year and which month <laughs> and they succeeded guys they just met this saturday a lady came to the country where the guy is living but they used to do online and the reason why this girl told me they used to do that they knew that they were in love with each other this lady knew the guy's life 90 percent of the guy's life <laughs> But not only that, guys, she told me, Bella, I love, love, love sex. <laughs> and my boyfriend, too, loves sex. So that is why we used to do that. So you can see the difference, guys. You can't just do online with a guy or do this talks with a guy that you don't have even plans of meeting. A guy does not want even to open up about his life the only thing that he is doing so that you can trust him is to send you money no you can do these sex talks 
but in a good way for me guys i'm advising you a good way a respectful way yes you can do that if you want a video about that i will do it <laughs> but you can do it a decent way and make this guy excited wanting to see you very very soon but at that stage when you are waiting for your visa to be out <laughs> either way guys this is a tip if you are dating a guy this guy is good is open to you he is decent he respects you you think he is the one and maybe you are planning to meet very soon i'm giving you like a homework <laughs> please find this guy's weakness <laughs> every man has got his own weakness when it comes to the woman the things that he likes the words that when a lady tells him he feels very very good please find the weakness of the guy you are dating but a good guy <laughs> <laughs> not those bad guys no <laughs> a good guy that you know yourself you are in a healthy relationship find his weakness and then use those weaknesses to win this guy's heart <laughs> that way guys is stronger than you sending your nude photos to this guy thinking that you are going to win his heart no no guys you can't win the guy's heart by sending your nude photos or by asking or offering online no guys but if you know his weaknesses then you're going to win his heart and you're going to create a very passionate healthy relationship number two of when to talk about to the guy you met on online dating apps is you guys have been chatting not on online dating apps on whatsapp that stage of online dating apps have passed and you have even met in person one time maybe you went or he came to your country and the second time maybe this guy is going to marry you or you have a more bigger step you are taking in your relationship next so at that stage at that stage then you can do this online talks to spice things up but you are at that stage whereby you know this guy is mine <laughs> and he has shown you the efforts but please guys i'm against you staying on camera play yourself and the guy playing himself seeing your goodies no guys no no i'm against that but again it is your life you can do whatever you want to do the only thing i do is to give you the advice because for me it sounds very weird it sounds so cheap for you to do such kind of a thing online <laughs> with a guy no matter this guy is gonna be your husband i accept to talks yes talks is okay you can do this same like there is no harm doing that because you are in a love relationship not a friendship relationship <laughs> so guys to wrap it up for a lady who requested for this video in your situation now i think you have the answers if you guys are planning to meet and you are on the visa process then you can talk about sex <laughs> if you want to do online that's you that's your life i'm against that but if you're chatting with this guy no plans of meeting he doesn't want you to know his life he doesn't want to put lots of efforts in your relationship no matter he is sending you money do not accept to do online sex with him do not accept to send your nude photos to him because he might be sending you that money as a way of buying you treating you as a prostitute girl you are not a prostitute so you shouldn't accept that the money that he is sending you you can make that money by yourself without disrespecting yourself by staying naked on camera and guys people are not people i've been telling you they're going to trick you you're going to accept to play yourself on camera and in the end these guys are going to sell those videos to the world and they will sell them at the higher price <laughs> so if he's sending you 50 euros you do that for six months <laughs> he will keep on selling your videos for six months and he will earn more so some of them do it as a business please be clever people are not people <laughs>
so friends i really hope this video has been of a help to you if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video if you have any other question please write in the comments below then i'm going to reply to you subscribe please if you have not subscribed i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.